Well, thank you so much, Leanne. And of course, it's all about Sona 2020. And uh, with me now, as we wrap up the show, our Minister of Communication, Stellan Dabeni Abrams, uh, here with me. And uh, let me just start. I saw uh, some of the pictures that went viral on social media about you flying coach economy class, as it were, as it should be at this point, you and Minister Tito Mboweni. Well, you will recall, Sakina, that uh, last year Minister Mboweni called for all of us to make sure that we, we do some savings and it has to start by travelling. And yes, we've been flying economy class, actually. So, absolutely great example, because I think this is what South Africans are looking for, not to just hear government and uh, government officials talk about this, but to actually lead by example. So, good on you for that, Minister. But let's get into some of uh, the nitty-gritties of what's to be expected. So, we have SONA coming up. We've been talking about digital migration. We are behind the curve, have been. So, what are you expecting for tonight? Definitely the first thing I would expect is that President is going to give feedback in terms of the announcements that he made and therefore the progress that we have made. You know, as you're talking about digital migration, you can live behind. I'm sure you're itching to ask me about the spectrum again and the President will be talking to those because it's important that we really brief the nation and take them into confidence of what we are going through and what we are trying to achieve for the betterment of the society. Therefore, pres President will be talking to them. People are looking forward to data costs that must fall and he will be really addressing the country in terms of saying how do we work together in terms of ensuring that we ease business and make sure that people have access to information. And of course the deadlines again, the cutoffs, uh, as you say, I am very keen to talk about spectrum and spectrum release and you know the implications thereof, especially in an economy that is hamstrung such as ours right now. Definitely, President will be telling South Africans when to expect uh, the final licensing of the process of Spectrum. And of course, then the other matters. I am not him. This is his day. And I'm not going to be divulging lots of information. But he's going to take us into task in terms of what is that we are doing and by when should South African expect some of the commitments to be realized. But of course, again, next week, we're having a debate. That's where the ministers will be unpacking what President would have spoken about. So lots of talk as well about state-owned enterprises, the state in which they are in, some of them under your portfolio. So again, you know, what are you hoping to get tonight from the um, uh, president in terms of not just a progress report, but also moving ahead? Are you worried that we're going to close down this ABC? All right. <laughs> well, of course, the president spoke about the reconfiguration of the state. One of the things that uh, the Minister of Finance and Minister of Public Service and Administration have raised is the fact that we not only have a bloated state, but we have a huge wage bill which talks to the high salaries that we're paying. And as we do that, we also realize that there's lots of replications in the services that we're offering. You find that there's a company A that is doing the similar service to company B. Therefore, we are saying let's put those entities together. And of course, as the cabinet Lichutla deliberated on the matters, President will be making reference to that and when the time comes we'll be talking to specifics to say what people must expect of SABC and the other entities. On that note, I want to say goodbye to our SABC2 viewers. Uh, thanks so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. Uh, but of course, we continue on SABC News Channel 404. And welcome to the agenda as we continue in our conversation with the uh, Minister of Communication, Stella and Dabeni Abrams, talking to SONA, talking to about, uh, about things outside of SONA, also uh, Fourth Industrial Revolution, which has become a buzz phrase. One that we get criticized for a lot in terms of our understanding or perhaps the lack thereof and exactly what needs to be done minister well I think we still have a long way to go when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution but one thing that we should thank the president for is the fact that at least he's prioritizing it he has set up a commission to look into that but on top of that he has taken it as his priority to make sure that South Africa gets its own blueprint document that must guide South Africa. We don't want to be consumers. Sakina, in the previous three revolutions that we're talking about, South Africans have just been con consuming the technologies. Now we're saying we want to identify our own niche in the fourth industrial revolution. What is it that South Africa will contribute and produce? Right now, the mic you're holding, the cameras they have, somebody else produced them. And we're saying this is high time. If we are to talk of economic freedom, 
freedom, it has to be realized now. We can't miss it like we did with the previous revolutions. I always make a reference to the second industrial revolution when land was taken away from the people so that it can be utilized for mining. And there it left our people homeless. It left our people being helpers in the, in the households of the white people. It left our fathers being ordinary laborers. And we're saying this time we have grown up, we're wise enough, and therefore we're going to use all the resources that are at our disposal, working hand in hand with South Africa and other investors to make sure that we produce technologies, not just to use them. Everybody says data cost must fall, one laptop, one student, but who produces those? We can't keep on feeding other nations. South Africa is wiser, and that's what President will be talking to, to say as we chart our way forward, South Africa will identify its own rightful place, and we do know that there are still lots of challenges that we're going through. Electrification is still an issue and all we're calling for upon South Africans is to say let's explore the opportunities presented by the fourth industrial revolution technologies in order to address the challenges that we are faced with. There's coal, climate change, Minister Guede, Minister Barbara, they're fighting over that because there's certain things that we must look into it. But what is it that we can do to leverage? on the fourth industrial revolution technologies to address the challenges that we faced with. That's why we are saying in South Africa, gone are the days that will continue to consume. This is the revolution that must deliver economic freedom to the people of our country. And today is World Radio Day, so uh, millions of people will be listening to the State of the Nation address and of course uh, the build up to it on their radio sets as we speak right now as well. So your sentiments on this uh, very important day? Well, this is a very important day to us, not just as the people in the communication space, but for ordinary citizens in their respective areas. The first thing that we had said we really need to honor and celebrate this day is because it brings the multiplurality of voices, the diversity of our nation. Now people are able to get content in their own languages. And therefore we say as President will be delivering his own State of the Nation address, 11 million people that will be having access to radio as I'm speaking to you and we still plan to increase that but most importantly we want to encourage those radio stations that were licensed to use indigenous languages to continue using them and not to just continue to to, to broadcast on what is being broadcast being copy you know that copy and paste environment but them to generate their own stories that are reflective of their audience to say how do we help Umanyauza who's at Sakela in Umtata to realize that there's hope to realize that there are other people that are going through challenges but most importantly to say she too has a role to play in our country. So with that, uh, Minister, I know you have a full schedule for today, so we are going to release you. Um, we are going to go to Johannesburg right now, putting you uh, back in the hands of Blaine and Desiree on the agenda, and they'll be with you after this break.